Tony Bull. Hi. Hi. Which are the main ideas of your lecture today? Okay, well, I think that people often think about inclusion in school in quite a different way mm -hmm. from the way in which they think about it in society. So I think my message is, let's start from thinking, what does inclusion mean in society when we have uh, people sleeping rough on our streets? Uh -huh. What does inclusion mean in a city when still we have women excluded from positions in companies and so on? So how then does a school prepare our young people for a world of inclusion? Well, it has to prepare them by being inclusive in a very broad and deep sense. So, for example, a school should be a model of democratic participation in which everybody's views are encouraged and welcomed and respected. So, maybe we have some way to go, but understanding the way we should go is, is, is always then the start to uh, something good, maybe even something beautiful in our schools. The whole process, in my w w view, is supported by developing a shared framework mm -hmm. uh, of values, and I call these inclusive values. Mm -hmm. And inclusive values are very practical. They mean action. They have to be put into action. And at the same time, we have to understand that behind the inclusive values are, are excluding values, mm -hmm. which may be the way in which um, our schools currently operate. But we can work with a shared framework of values, mm -hmm. which I worked with children and adults, and they understand this. They understand this process that by taking control of one's values, one can take control of the way in which our schools, our education system, our cities and our society develops. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.